Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about transformations of quadratic functions. So if you recall, a quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, where a does not equal zero. And another point with quadratic functions is that the graph is u-shaped and is called a parabola. And as we talked about in our last unit, the parent function of a quadratic function is f of x is equal to x squared. So that is the most basic function in this in the quadratic function family. So one transformation that we can do with quadratic functions is translations. And so we see as the graph of f of x minus h, which is equal to x minus h squared, where h is not equal to zero, is a horizontal translation of the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. So here we are subtracting h from the input before evaluating the function, and it shifts the graph left when h is less than zero, and right when h is greater than zero. So that means, just like we saw with linear and absolute functions, it's really gonna go left when it says x plus h squared, and it's going to be right when it's x minus h squared. So if you see a plus h in the parentheses, that's really going to be going left. If you see a minus h in the parentheses, that means you're really going right. So it's kind of opposite of what you would think it is. Then we have vertical translations. In the graph of f of x plus k, which is equal to x squared plus k, k not equal to 0, is a vertical translation of the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. So adding k to the output shifts the graph down when k is less than zero and up when k is greater than zero. And so you see in the graphs of both of these that you kind of see what those translations look like. So here in red, I see that the graph shifted to the right. And so that would be x minus h squared. In blue, I see the graph shifted to the left and so that would really look like x plus h squared since h is negative. Down here, I see that the blue graph was shifted up and the red graph was shifted down. So let's practice identifying these transformations. So for these two functions, I'm going to describe the transformation of f of x equals x squared represented by g. So here I have g of x is equal to x plus 4 squared minus 1. I'm first going to go ahead and rewrite it in the form of x minus h squared plus k. So this is really the same thing as g of x is equal to x minus negative 4 squared minus 1. And so I see here that my h is going to be negative 4 and k is going to be negative 1. And so because h is equal to negative 4 and k is equal to negative 1, we see that the graph of g is a translation 4 units left. And 1 unit down. Okay, let's look at another one. Here have g of x is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 7. So first I'm going to identify what my h is and what my k is. I see here that h is 2. Because I already have that subtraction in there. And I see that k is 7. So both of these are positive. And so that means that this is going to be a translation 2 units right. Since I have x minus 2, that's going to be going to the right. And since 7 is positive, this will be going up. So and 7 units 